How to update the software and mapping on your AGR 700 series satellite navigation system. To update the mapping and navigation software, you'll need to connect your device to an internet-enabled Wi-Fi connection so that it can access the Google Play Store, where the mapping data in a GUI navigation app software is stored. You will also need a Google Gmail account set up on the device, which will enable the device to log in to the Google Play Store. A Google Gmail account is completely free, and if you don't already have one, please go to www.google.co.uk and search for How to Create a Google Account. You should see a number of links that will take you to the Gmail registration page and will enable you to create a Gmail address and password. Once you have your Gmail account details, you'll need to set them up on the device. From the main menu, select Settings. Then scroll down until you see Accounts and press the Add Account button. From the list displayed, select Google and a new window will appear called Add a Google Account. Select Existing as you already have a Google account ready to use. If you are not connected to an internet-enabled Wi-Fi connection, the device will now ask you to connect to one. It'll switch the Wi-Fi setting on, and you will automatically see a list of available Wi-Fi connections in your vicinity. Select the Wi-Fi connection you want to use and enter the password. Next, enter your Google Gmail account details and complete the setup as per the instructions displayed on the screen. You should always update the Aguri Navigation App software before attempting to update the mapping. So from the main menu, press the Navigate button and launch the navigation software as normal. Once the navigation software is open, tap on the center of the screen to open the Navi menu and then press the Device Settings button at the top right-hand corner of the screen. Next, select Manage Software and then tap on Software Version. A message will be displayed asking Check for Software Updates. Press OK and the device will automatically open the Aguri Navigation app in the Google Play Store. Please press the Update button and the AGR 700 will automatically update the Aguri Navigation app software. Once the update is complete, you should be returned to the main menu. You update the SpeedTrack database in much the same way. From the main menu, press Navigate and launch the navigation software as normal. Once the navigation software is open, tap on the centre of the screen to open the Navi menu and then press Device Settings at the top right-hand corner of the screen. Next, select Manage Software and then tap on SpeedShield Database. A message will be displayed. Check for New SpeedShield Database. Cancel or OK. Press OK and the unit will automatically check whether you have the latest SpeedTrap database available. If you have the latest database already, a message will be displayed. You already have the latest SpeedShield database available. If an update is available, however, your device will automatically download it like this. Once the update is complete, the Navi app will restart and will be ready to use again. Once you have updated the Aguri Navigation app software, you can start the map update. The map update can take up to an hour, so it's important to ensure that the unit is attached to a suitable charger so that the battery does not run out in the middle of the update. The AGR700 requires an AC charger with a 5V 2A output and micro USB connector. From the main menu, press the Navigate button and launch the navigation software. Tap on the centre of the screen to open the Navi menu and then press Device Settings. Next, select Manage Software and then tap on Map Version. A message will be displayed asking Check for New Map. Press OK to proceed. If an update is available, an orange information bar will be displayed advising what version of the map is already on your device and what the new version is. Press the orange bar to continue and a message will be displayed asking Start downloading after restart. Press Restart and the device will display the message Checking Data Server. It can take a few minutes for the device to check the data server but after a short period of time, the device will begin to download and install the latest version of the map. Once the mapping has been updated, your AGR700 will be ready to use again. Please note that depending on your connection speed, it could take between 30 and 60 minutes to update the mapping, depending on the speed of your internet connection. Please ensure that the device is fully charged and remains connected to power for the duration of this process. Thank you for watching. 
If you need any more help or advice, please visit our YouTube channel, Aguri World, where you'll find more videos designed to help you get the best out of your Aguri navigation system.